Jim, I'm the GMB's National Secretary for Public Services. Well, I'm here to support our striking city clean workers. Uh, you can see them all standing behind getting ready to go off on a march. They're going to be marching through Brighton uh, and gathering outside the council offices where we're going to have a rally. And we're protesting today because the Green Council, very sadly, is looking to cut our members' pay. They're doing it under the guise of equal pay and austerity. And that means our members are going to be taking 4,000, 2,000, 1,000 pound a year pay cuts. They can't afford that, we can't allow that. GMB will be marching with them today. Uh, GMB would rather negotiate a way through these problems, but if any, any employer wants to take our members on, the one thing they should know about the GMB is we love a fight. And if they want to have a fight, we will give them one. And the GMB nationally, regionally, throughout the country, we will be standing 100% behind these workers. I'm uh, Neil Harding and I work as a street cleaner. And um, why are you here today, Neil? Um, well, basically because they're, they're cutting down money. Uh, yeah, you know, you're going to lose up to £4,000. So, um, you know, we voted 96% for the strike. I think that says it all, really. It's, uh, we don't want a strike. Nobody wants to lose, uh, lose a week's money. Uh, but, you know, if this goes through what the council proposes, we're going to be losing a week's money every month for the rest of our lives. So, we haven't really got a choice. not enough money in the coffers um, to pay our allowances uh, which come to well three or four grand um, yet we're advertising for a new head of HR at um, £85,000 and they're offering a relocation package of £10,000 um, and to talk about a um, wage structure that's fair um, you know who, who is it fair to? Uh, the chief exec as well um, earns £12,500 a month um, I don't think any, by any definition, that people can call that fair. While workers here, you know, that's how much that they'll be earning a year um, if these pay cuts go through. Well, it's, like, it's like anything, you know. You, you have a couple, you know, after you've paid all your bills, you have a couple hundred pounds left, you know, which you which you, which you should go in anyway. And that's basically what I'm going to lose. I'm not going to be able to afford to go out anymore. But obviously, for a lot of the lads, it's worse than that, you know. So I mean, my wife works as well, so I'm not, not so bad for some people. But uh, if you've got, if this was the main income coming into your house, there's a few people here who, you know, there's, there's a couple that both work here, you know. They're going to be losing double that amount, so they, they won't be able to pay the rent, they're going to lose their homes, basically. Leader of the council, Jason Kitkat, half man, half biscuit, was out here looking at this. They would, they would soon change their minds, they would be back at the negotiating table, making a fair offer that ensures nobody loses anything. Because remember, the cause of this is not you. It's not you. It is them. It's the unholy alliance between the Green Party and the Tories to introduce these cuts and try to impose them on you. They don't have to. Don't let them pretend they have to. There is no legal barrier about equalising pay properly. Because when you've got unequal pay, what do you do? You equalise up. You don't equalise down. Yeah. Yeah. They got in reserves 70 million pounds. 10 million pounds of those reserves are what's known as unallocated. That means they're sitting there for a rainy day. Well, it ain't raining yet, but it bloody will if you have to take a pay cut. That should be exactly what that money is for. Our Union General Secretary Paul Kenny would have been here to speak to you. Unfortunately, he was taken ill on Thursday and is still in, in hospital. But I bring a message from him for you as well and from the whole GMB. We are incredibly proud of you. This is a fantastic show of strength and solidarity amongst the City Clean workforce and the rest of the town and the community that is supporting you. And it is. And that is very valuable indeed. And they're supporting you in words and in spirit 
and I hope they will also support your fighting fund that you've set up that anybody can contribute to through the GMB Southern Region website and that's already got £20,000 raised for your fighting fund. And what I can say from the GMB, we support you 100% and the GMB is pledging today £100,000 to go towards your campaign and your wages that you deserve and we will back that 100%. My final, word, my final word is this, not just for you, not just for the other people in the council, but there are other people facing pay cuts as well and everybody in the country can take heart from this. People can say no. They can say no to cuts locally, they can say no to this government's austerity. Let this be a great campaign for you, let it be a successful campaign for you, but let us use it to build elsewhere resistance everywhere. No to cuts, no to austerity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.